do a little uh, test here. Beetle has procured from the promotions department two replica official NFL balls, meaning they're kind of official NFL balls, but they're really not. Same size, same appearance. They say similar materials, ish. just not authentic materials. Ish. So they're kind of ish. Listen, they're still pretty good footballs, even though they're not game balls. Okay, so it'll prove the point. If you're watching on the simulcast, yeah. you'll see what we got. The unfortunate part is that they're both signed by Brandon Lloyd. So these are just sort of yes, left they over. are. Brandon could have been Lloyd, worse. Brandon could have Lloyd, been, o- could have been Cinco. <laughs> So, So one is inflated to 14 PSI. Correct. One is inflated to 11 PSI. Correct. Can we tell the difference? Beetle, Beetle do you know already? Yeah, I do know the difference, and so I'm out. Could you tell? Did you get it right when you did the no, test yourself? No, I, I could not believe it. In fact, I guessed wrong. Really? Yes, I did. So I how, was stunned. How do you know which ball is which? I have them specially marked, which uh, <laughs> allows me to know... You know, if you look at the signatures, they're in a slightly different spot, right? Did you the, use a gauge? They're a little bit. Uh, the gauge Did was you use a, a gauge? gauge was used at to, halftime to fill. <laughs> How about pregame? And check these balls pre-show today. The gauge was properly used. Yes. So you ready, Maz? Yeah, I want them both at the same well, time. Well, then though. that's not how it works. Oh, really? Yeah, you gotta feel one ball, get another ball, and tell the difference. You know, if you're a ref on the field, you don't have two balls to be squeezing at the same time. One ball at a time. It's a one ball limit here. All right, give me one ball. That's how I was taught. Give me one one ball, ball. and then I'll give it to Mike. All right. One one ball at a time. Okay, and I'll give the other one to Mike. You guys check those out. See see how soft my hands are? Yeah, that's great. Hand eye coordination. That's awesome. Punt pass and kick champion. All right, I'm good with that one. All right, switch them up, boys. Hold on, wait a minute. There's no way. Wait, now you guys have to to return them now, right? Like, well, how do we know you're going to switch them properly? Give me that ball. How about if I just put it down in front of me? Well, put it right there on the table. Okay. Okay. No. Now feel the other ball and tell me which one you think is the lighter ball. That one's the lighter ball. The one I, I've got first. Allow me to check. You see the other one there? <laughs> <laughs> you would be right. Oh, <laughs> right yeah. You're damn straight. I get very sensitive fingers. <laughs> All right. So here, Felger, do it again. I'm good at squeezing things. <laughs> you got that? Yep. <laughs> you don't do that. So wait a minute. Beatles are uh, playing the little ball game with you. This was the same one that you just sent me for the first time. No, it was not. I swear <laughs> to God, it was not. I'm telling you, I'm like a safe cracker. You want to do it again? <laughs> it's no, a gift. I don't. You prove the point. It's really hard to tell. It's, it's really hard to tell. It's hard to tell. But but see, so again, the, so all, all you this. Would you want to take a guess? Okay, so so the, the people that would say, oh, so, see, oh, there's I, no difference. There's no advantage. Well, then why do it? Here, can I feel them both at the same time? Please? Yeah, go for it. Right? Why, when you why do it? you both at the same it? time, you could probably figure it out. Now, look. It, some, it's hard. I'm telling you, there is not much difference. No, it's close. It really isn't. Yeah, it's close. It, it's very I mean, close. I still couldn't even tell you what is what. But I, mean, I, but I do think, like, if it is. Just by feel, there's no way you I, would know. I can't tell. Now, look. Whether someone like Brady, who throws how many of those a day, right? Whether he would be able to tell is a completely different thing. Maybe Brady could tell. Maybe every quarterback could tell because they know. Again, it's what they do, and I, I joke about safe crackers, Mike, but I think in a lot of ways those guys know the texture of the ball and the, you know, the compression, all of it, the pressure, all of it. But even so, think of how minimal that is, and why would you risk your credibility over that? God, what it's crazy. You, what are you doing? So what do you think you have? Just Okay, uh, I think I have the, the 14. You have the 11. See, so yeah, I can't tell. I'm telling you. Because, you know, I got little bitty hands. I need the 11. I do, too, but I have extremely sensitive fingertips. <laughs> yeah, right. It comes with the big traps. <laughs> so, you know. I all- bet Nate Solder appreciated the uh, underinflation. Oh, definitely. Please, a little <laughs> easier to catch. But, yeah. all, you know, it's no. I, is Robert Kraft laughing back at Gillette right now? No, he's pissed. He's pissed. He is pissed beyond belief. And look, for all of the things that, uh, you know, all the criticisms from here and other places that ever been ever, ever been levied he against third quarter. Course. He didn't even get the underinflated. You can't. The, the one thing you can say is that R- Robert Kraft I, has a great deal of concern about the image and the brand of his organization. And I don't think he would ever knowingly do anything to damage that. So how can he not be pissed that someone would manipulate something for, for a gain so minimal or trivial at the risk of further damaging a brand that was smeared and stained seven years ago? I want to find out how much Kraft really, again, integrity publicly is a very big, you know, the reputation and integrity publicly is very important to them. The image, right. Uh but again, you know, I, I think they know what their coach is all about and how he operates, and yet they've gainfully employed him and are happy to employ him for all this time. 
I don't, I don't think Kraft or any owner really uh, bathe themselves in glory with how they handled the Ray Rice thing. I mean, Goodell got all the heat, but the owners were behind his actions. So I, I think this is sort of, you know, this is going to be a little bit of a litmus test on Robert. Uh, how much do you really, how much stock do you really put into the integrity, the reputation of how you do business on the field, right? And, you know, we're going to see, does he, d- does he feel that too? And does he overreact? Does he react strongly? Does he let the league do it? And then if he lets the league do it, then we get the whole thing with Goodell and Kraft. And does Goodell have to overreact because everyone knows how close he is with Robert Kraft? Or does he take care of his buddy, Robert Kraft? Like that whole piece, that's coming down here in the next 24, 48 hours. Boy, complicated time for this to happen, right? 